So do we have a mic or? No, this one. Oh, this one, nice. So everybody can hear me. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, I don't know who was with, uh, in the, with the bug presentation about uh, 20 minutes ago. Uh, but I'm Ramon. I'm Ruben. This is Ruben. And we work for Stark and Wayne. And we work this for Stark and Wayne. Right yeah. So, um, everybody probably want us bug. Okay, I can't want to get my, getting my first bug up. Uh, this is also nice. For the people that didn't go to the previous talk, uh, Buck is just a utility to get uh, with Bosch Create. Env. It's a wrapper around Bosch Create Env, and it will give you uh, Bosch, UAA, Concourse, and Credup all co-located into one uh, virtual machine. Uh, and we're now going to show you how it works. Yeah, so if you do, if you download Buck from our uh, Git repository, uh, Git repository is in our Stark and Wayne, uh, Stark and Wayne Credup. Uh, okay. you Stark and Wayne slash Buck. Stark and Wayne slash Buck <laughs> in, in, uh, in the GitHub. Yeah. Um, so it assumes that you have, or it works best when you have uh, .envrc uh, or dear env, and we have an envrc, so uh, Buck will be added to your path, uh, and then we have the Buck CLI, uh, which uh, gives us, yeah, a lot of things to do, but the most interesting or most important thing is where you start is Buck up, which will uh, um, yeah, it will. So this is what it basically <laughs> does. It will get all the environment, uh, all, all all the. It will generate a manifest, and it will go get all the necessary uh, dependencies. Yeah. So Bosch releases, um, stem cells, um, and with Buck we uh, took great care of uh, making sure that all the Bosch releases we use are pre-compiled Bosch releases, which means we can skip a lot of the compilation. Uh, steps only uh, the CPI will actually be compiled. Um, so this is all recorded, so it should be going really fast. <laughs> uh, it, so usually it takes, depending on the CPI, right? Some CPIs are slower to compile. For example, the Ruby-based ones like vSphere. Uh, no, normally, it takes about eight minutes to get a whole functioning Bosch working with Credup, Concourse, yeah. uh, and everything on it. Depending on the download speed. Right. Um, so yeah, once it's running, we can switch to another terminal, right? Yeah, <laughs> I can finish. I, I can finish it. Crap. Did, did it just crash? Um, so what are we going to show? So uh, when we help, hmm? just help. Um, so, yeah, we can do a Bosch SSH or a bug SSH, which will, so since all the state of, um, so when you use Bosch Create Env, there's a lot of state living in uh, some, um, uh, in your state file and stuff like that. So uh, we have created some simple wrappers to easily allow you to, for example, do a bug SSH, uh, which will get you into the VM and you can see it's just, uh, a Bosch deployed VM, right? So everything is running. We have uh, we have the Postgres for the director. We have the workers. We have um, the ATC from like, for, for, concourse, for concourse, the TSA, the baggage claim, and that all this. Yeah, the credit up, the credit importer. We used the dash dash light flag, which means we we have um, the Warden CPI as well, right? So uh, if we are uh, use, uh, deploying VMs, they will actually be running in Garden containers in that simple uh, in that single VM. Um, yeah. So, so with bug bus, you will just be logged into your your uh, your bug. Uh, your Bosch director. Bosch so director. Can do Bosch yeah. releases, or I don't know. So you, know, you can do uh, yep. Bosch VMs, and you'll see. There's nothing. Yeah. There is nothing. Uh, we have um, bug cred hub as well, um, which will uh, install the cred hub CLI. Um, if it's not yet there, uh, and it will log in, and now you can talk to your bug deployed cred up. Um, so you can do cred up find dash um, a, find dash a, and you will see all the things that are available in cred up. Uh, one thing to note here is that we already pre-populated uh, some secrets. Those are the secrets, uh, so like the credentials for <coughs> connecting to your Bosch. Uh, if you create a concourse pipeline and you want to use the new variables, uh, the 
uh, concourse credential manager, the, the variables are already here. So you, in your pipeline, you can just uh, use the variables to connect to your Porsche. Um, we have Bugfly. Yeah, Bugfly is the same thing. But you have to do fly dash t to target bug because fly doesn't allow you to set environment variables to uh, have one target uh, in a shell. So you always have to do that. Um, yeah. And we have bug info, which has, shows the uh, info you need to actually reach the fly or the concourse uh, GUI. Uh, yeah, and so we have a, d uh, a demo pipeline set up in our CI slash assets directory. Uh, yeah. And what we did here, oh, no, that's not it. Uh, no. Ah, oh, it seems to fail. Oh. Nice, always nice to do a live <laughs> demo. No. It doesn't really matter, we can go over that pipeline because it's actually quite interesting. Uh, like, can you show the source of that pipeline, maybe on GitHub? Um, how much time left? Maybe a minute. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, so, well. Okay, I think that, that's it then, because uh, I think we, we showed everything about Buck. We could go off pipelines, but it's probably not enough time. So, questions? So, yeah, I think uh, we advise everyone who's interested in Buck or just want to talk about anything Bosch related, just join us at our booth and yeah. we will talk with you. Yeah. And we'll but probably drink a beer as well. So. That's the Stark and Wayne <laughs> booth, right? Yeah, Stark and yeah, Wayne booth. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Okay.